as an organization believes in gender diversity and inclusion and this belief is hugely inspiring for all of us. It has galvanized like-minded women like us to form the team Astra and we have taken it upon ourselves to convert this belief into action. Astra is a very versatile word. In Nordic mythology, it means divine strength. In Latin, it means star-like. It's an inspirational combination of strength and light. We believe that Astra is the start of a big movement. I'm sure you've heard the saying that the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. And we are really happy that we have taken that first step. Now the whole journey is in front of us. It's exciting. According to me, women should not be given special opportunities. What women want is equal opportunities. Gender diversity is not about including women for their gender. It's about not excluding them. It's about not having a mindset which says men are from Mars and women are from Venus. It's about a mindset which says we are all from planet Earth and we are all equal. To me, that is the main essence. While it's true to say that the success of a professional is measured in terms of money, but the rule should be very simple. For a job done equally well, there should be no distinction between men and women. The pay should be equal for both. The environment at Quarter is a pleasantly neutral one. It does not single out and question the decision of women employees, say when it comes to taking leave. Kotak understands the modern woman. It's a great thing and a rare thing. Sometimes young women having little children drop out of the workforce, but sometimes they also come back making a big statement to the world that you can be both a good mother and a professional at the same time. Most working women, as we've seen with young children, go through a very difficult phase of their career uh, when children are young. So what we try and do is try and accommodate them in some form to support them. And the way we do it is try and you know, probably help them with a branch closer to home so that they don't spend time commuting and probably give them some flexi hours whenever it's possible you know, to work it out. It's a zero to five formula. You have to struggle for the first five years. After that, it becomes relatively easier. Everything can be managed. You have to have your support system in place. You have to have your pediatrician on call. And most importantly, believe that it will get better with every passing day. Uh, yes, uh, you do feel guilty uh, at times, especially when you uh, leave your child uh, right there, uh, crying out there. Uh, uh, but I guess uh, probably 10 years down the line, uh, when your child needs you lesser, uh, you don't feel that guilty after all. And uh, uh, frankly, I believe it's all about uh, the passion with which you really do your work. And uh, sometimes it's, it's about finding the right kind of balance. It's important for us to be able to strike a work-life balance and that's true both for men and women. It doesn't have to be either or. It's really up to us to work it out. Doing it all is a myth. I believe you have to set your priorities. You have to choose what you want to do and what you should do and then you'll be at peace. Talk to your family, get their concurrence, set expectations ahead of time. So as an organization, we realize that women will always have certain special demands from the personal and the home front. It's important to be supportive of this and the organization does support women at different stages in their careers. But as women, it's so very important for us to use this support carefully and judiciously when we require it. You can't do it all. If you try and do it all, you will end up being exhausted depleted and sad. You have to make choices. I decided I would go to the gym rather than cook. Gender roles have to blur, especially if both husband and wife have stressful and demanding jobs.
There is proven research that indicates that gender diverse organizations are more creative, more innovative, and more profitable. Women often have different leadership styles that make them more effective in certain roles. For example, in roles that require more collaborations, especially across diverse cultures. According to me, most CEOs and top management realize the benefits of gender diversity and are committed to it. Unfortunately, it does not percolate down to lower levels and it does not translate into actions. So India Manufacturing today is pretty much an old boys network. Indian banking, however, has many women in the corner room. We have to keep that up. And what we need to provide is an encouraging environment, an environment where men support women, and most important, most important, where women support women. So it makes immense business sense to have a balance between the male and the female workforce, which means senior women must mentor their juniors to ensure that they don't drop off and disrupt this balance. Uh, women bring new perspectives to business. Uh, I, I think probably it's uh, very natural of them because they do this multiple juggling act. Um, and I think uh, therefore they're able to challenge status quo and uh, probably that gives you fresh perspectives into the business. Boundaries, uh, I, I don't believe once you really set boundaries because uh, once you set a boundary, you just limit yourself. So I think that's something which is uh, completely undesirable. Uh, and I think one's own motivator is oneself. So you might have external agencies, but I think the self-motivation factor is the much uh, strongest. And I think that is what will uh, ensure that you just keep moving along. I don't think anything can ever stop you, nothing ever. It's important to, you know, find a role model because then you can achieve the impossible. Um, my first role model was actually my mom. She balanced everything beautifully, be it the work life, be it the personal life. I really owe all my achievements as a woman to her. Uh, she always told me, you know, right from the eighth standard probably, just she told me, stay focused on getting things right. It may not be 100% right. That's okay. You know. And she always told me, you want to stay motivated, stay happy. So once you've made a choice to be a working woman, give it 100%. This may mean that you may have to make personal compromises. But it's a choice at the end of the day. And we need to learn how to stand by it. You've heard of the glass ceiling. It's your imagination. Actually, the sky is the limit. And once you truly believe that, a whole world of new opportunities will open up to you. Pass on all the encouragement and inspiration you have received. Find someone to mentor, guide and motivate. Only then can this truly become a movement. Gender diversity and inclusion should not be mere words. It calls for action and bringing about a glorious change together. And together, we can strike that balance. That's the Astro Pledge.